Welcome back to Real Pro Wrestling. Our next weight class is 211 pounds, but before we begin the battle, let's meet Daniel Cormier of The Slam and Tommy Rollins of The Outrage. Daniel Cormier, 96 kilos. I started wrestling when I was 11 years old. I fell in love with it immediately. Once I started doing it, I, I knew that's what I wanted to do with wrestling. Let's go. Hey, wrestle hard. My kids wrestling program is called the Cowboy Wrestling Club. The main focus of the club is just to teach the kids the basics of wrestling. Hold them there. Let them have fun with other kids around their age, learning to wrestle and having fun at the same time. If I was a pharmacist and I had to prescribe something for a kid to be the best or to be successful, I'd give you a big dose of hard work. As long as you're willing to work hard, focus on your goals, and you're going to be OK. I'm going to do another thing that's real important to me, another type of training I do to get my mind right. Texas versus LSU, NCAA football 2005. Oh, he dropped the football. What I do when I'm not wrestling is uh, I play a lot of video games. Some trash, T. You know, when you're in Russia for 10 days, you know, you need something to pass the time. I don't know why. I continue to lose to this guy. He is not that good a player. I'm Tommy Rollins. I'm wrestling 96 kilograms. I was six years old when I started wrestling, and my dad was a wrestling coach. The things that you do physically to get to the top of your game, it's incredible. I'm willing to argue that that doesn't happen in any other sport. You wrestle an opponent, you wrestle a body out there, but really you're struggling against yourself, trying to find out what you can do. It's really not the time that we put in, it's what we put in the time that makes our sport different from all the others. It's amazing. We're always running, we're always lifting, we're conditioning really hard. I can't blow you away with words. It's just something that you have to go through to truly understand. Hopefully the people out there take our words for it. This is one of the hardest sports around. In wrestling, my coach at Ohio State always says that you bear your soul, putting everything you have into something and in what you really believe in. Obviously, the number one objective when you're out there is to win. My second priority is to be exciting. I want to have fun out there. I want the people that are watching me to have fun. That's kind of the philosophy I have on wrestling. It's a tough workout. It's what it takes, though. Welcome back to Real Pro Wrestling. Our next weight class is 211 pounds, so let's begin the battle between the number one seed, Daniel Comier, and the number two seed, Tommy Rowland. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next finals match at 211 pounds from the New York Outrage. It's Tom Rowland. Here comes his opponent from the Oklahoma Slam. Let's hear it for Daniel Cormier. It's real pro wrestling. We're getting towards the big guy, 211 pound national championship, number one ranked Olympian Daniel Cormier versus two-time NCAA champion, number two seeded Tom Rollins. Nate, you got the number one seed. You think he's pretty tough, don't you, Cormier? He's tough. We call him baby Melvin Douglas. I tell you what, he's quick, he's explosive. This is going to be another great matchup here at Real Pro Wrestling. And Tommy Rollins in the red shorts, the red rank band. Right now, I have to say, Tommy is uh, just coming into his own. He's young. Tommy Rollins is a great athlete, great movement, two-time national champion at uh, Ohio State University. He's coming out here to knock off baby uh, Melvin Douglas, one of the greatest uh, freestyle wrestlers ever. Great movement, great attack. But you know what? Tommy Rollins is coming here to wrestle tonight. And the team race uh, for second place is tight. New York, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania, all within two points. Each of them have one wrestler left in the finals. And right here, we have New York Outrage and Oklahoma Slam wrestling each other. Rollins for the New York Outrage and uh, Cormier for the Oklahoma Slam. Ready? Stop injury time. You know what, one of the keys here this match, I think uh, Cormier Action has great movement, great technique. You know, Tommy Rollins is, is just starting to come into his own. He's trying to figure out exactly how I want to wrestle this international style of wrestling. Action it's blue. different from what they do in college. And I know that Daniel Cormier feels comfortable and he's controlling the mat right now so far. Oh, there's a push out for Cormier. Uh, he, he wasn't controlling the mat there. He actually just backed straight up. That was actually an easy score. Uh, for Cormier, just easily, just a matter of knowing the rules, you know. Yeah, exactly. You have to be able to broaden your horizon. You know, you wrestle with different styles of wrestling, adjusting and adapting. That's why wrestlers are such 
good grapplers is you know so many different positions. These athletes will be able to recover and react in any position right now. Daniel Cormier has one point for the push out, and right now is getting the power meter to go down on Tommy Rowans for possibly a chance to get on top of Parterre or go to the clinch position. Well, I think both of these guys have rare wrestling styles for these for their size. They're, they can move quick. You watch Tommy Rowland. He needs to open up and just take some shots out there. He needs to take a chance. This is the finals of real pro wrestling, and he needs to go for it. You know, it's just like two cats just trying to wait and then just pawn your uh, your lunch or your dinner. You know, they want to go out there and find a weakness. And right now, they're setting each other apart right now. I think the advantage has to go to Daniel Cormier, who's just slowly, Action methodically right. setting up the match in his favor. You know, we talked earlier about Moldawal coming from the streets, with wrestling being his way out. Cormier's overcome a lot. Death of his father at an early age. His best friend was on the Oklahoma State basketball team, was killed in an airplane crash, and then his three-month-old daughter was killed in a, in a car crash. That's a lot to overcome, Rulon. Here we go, gentlemen, 20 seconds of Greco. Stand straight up, toe to toe, hip to hip. Do not bend over. Stand straight. Do not lean forward, Tommy. Straight up, straight up. Contact. Stop. Caution red, caution red. Stand straight up, you're leaning forward. Straight up, straight up. We're at 211 pound Real Pro Wrestling National Finals between Tommy Rollins and Daniel Cormier. Cormier on top right here. They're in the bonus opportunity now. He has 15 seconds left. Only the wrestler in the bon bonus can score, and that is Cormier right now. He tried to lift, but Rollins went straight down to the mat, so I don't really think anything's gonna happen here. They'll be back up in the neutral position here in a couple seconds. But the one thing about uh, the bonus position, it's all Greco-Roman, so no legs can be attacked. And I know that these two athletes haven't been trained in a lot of Greco, so they're not really comfortable in that position. 1-0, Cormier is uh, out in front. 20 seconds left in this first period. Low scoring, both great athletes going after. But you know what, it's just like two old season veterans, one of them at a time is trying to, to set up a technique, working in action right there. Tom tried to, uh, Mr. Rollins tried to come around, find the angle, find the edge, got poked in the aisle. Wants to take a second to uh, get his bearings back and come back in and hopefully score a point here with five seconds left. I tell you what, I think Rollins really opening up now. I mean, he has to go for it. I think he's confident now because Cormier really hasn't done a lot to score. And I think he, I think, I really believe he knows he's in that match. Well, that's the end of the first period. Cormier up 1-0. It's a low score, but it's not over, and we'll be back after this. We're back for the second period of the 211-pound national championship for Real Pro Wrestling. Tommy Rollins trailing Daniel Cormier 1-0, and we're ready to go. Right now, I think uh, Tommy Rollins needs to pick up the pace a little bit. Daniel Cormier is just going to wait for that one opportunity. Melvin Douglas was really That's patient. Red. Great 220-pound wrestler. He waited for maybe one or two chances of the match and went for it. Right now, Daniel Cormier, I think, needs to open up. Real Pro Wrestling is an opportunity Action for red. us to go out there and open up our guns and give 100% and allow ourselves to believe in this dream of Greco-Roman freestyle wrestling becoming one opportunity here at Real Pro Wrestling. You know, I really see Tommy Rollins. He's opening up. I think he since he can win. That was a half decent shot, but man. He just Cormier just went right around him. But he, you know, it wasn't a confident shot, though. I mean, it seemed like he wanted it, but that was just a, a baby shot almost. It just. You know what? I think that comes about because Daniel Cormier made the 2004 Olympic team. That has to mean something. When you see Olympian right by somebody's name, sometimes it adds a little respect to their name. And I think right now, Tommy Rollins is doing that. Where is it? He's just gonna take a shot almost just straight to the mound, and Cormier just goes right around him. If you look at that, Tommy Rollins shot in. Daniel Cormier basically pushed him right down to the mat and said, you're not coming any further. I'm going right around for the score. He didn't get past that first line of defense, did he? That's great control. You know, if I only could have done that, I'd have been an Olympian in the freestyle team. I tell you what, if you're gonna be a champion in real pro wrestling, you can't wrestle the man's name, you gotta wrestle his body. Well, we're talking about defense, stance, body position. 
key factors in any successful the wrestler's arsenal, defense even, and the skill required to use it as an offense, putting your opponent in bad position and capitalizing by scoring. The Great Wall of China kept China safe from attackers for centuries, right? That's right. They could penetrate it. And right now, I see these two athletes. Tom Rollins is comfortable being down 3 nothing. He's not really too excited. Now he's picking up the pace a little bit, but it's almost too late. You have to pick it up and find a weakness in Daniel Cormier's position, and there is none right now. Going to the bonus position, Daniel Cormier has to allow Tommy Rollins to lock into position. Mr. Rollins will allow himself to lock, and then he has to be able to throw. The only way he can score points is to throw the opponent to his back. It has to be four to six points. No points are taken for a slip throw. If the defensive man holds the offensive man on his back, no points are scored. Cormier's gonna have to be cautioned because the defensive man has to get set and he can't move once he's set. And this is the most unique part of real pro wrestling's alternative rules, right? That is, that's exactly right. You know, Daniel Cormier is in good position. He has good hips. Now, Tommy Rollins has to wrestle a Greco-Roman match. Daniel Cormier cannot block him in any way from picking him up, lifting him, and throwing him. And right now, it's not going to happen with nine seconds left in the bonus period. They're going to have to be able to come back up and wrestle on the feet again. It's a match within a match is what it is. It is, you know, and it gives Greco-Roman wrestlers a chance back to have freestyle. a neutral position where they may have an advantage over a freestyle wrestler. And a lot of times, the Greco guy didn't come through with the throw here in the tournament. And uh, that's why uh, Tommy Rollins and Daniel Cormier advanced on. And Olympian Garrett Lowney, bronze medalist Garrett, Garrett Lowney, didn't advance past Tommy Rollins in the last round. Don't you see Greco-Roman wrestlers zeroing in on real pro wrestling and training a little bit more specifically too, Rulon? Well, you know, it's been really tough because we just, uh, you know, in the last uh, few months, have trained so much, got done with the Olympic, you know, games, went in, last wrestled year. there. Yep, got done at the Olympic games. Did you see that? Cormier smacked him on the butt a couple times after that takedown, just to say, I guess, it's over, boy. I, I mean, I got you. Look at this, Stop. unbelievable. Right over here. That's why he got caution. He gets the takedown, now watch this. What is that about? And Tommy Rowland looks back go. at him like, what are you doing, guy? <laughs> Unreal. Basically saying, you know what? I won this match, let's get ready for the next one. I challenge you. <laughs> I guarantee you what Tommy Rollins is made out of, he's ready for the challenge. And he's quiet about it, but that doesn't mean he won't be looking at it and towards it. Oh, that's exactly right. You know here in the next few years, Tommy Rollins is gonna come out as a force to be reckoned with. Oh, a little shoving and pushing. I think Cormier got something started on the inside of Tommy Rowland that says, next time we wrestle, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to go all out. It's going to be a match. National champion at 211 pounds from the Oklahoma Slam, Daniel Cormier. It's all about confidence. Well, Oklahoma takes over second place with that win. You're looking at Daniel Cormier. You just saw him win the national title at 211 pounds over Tommy Rollins. Daniel Cormier, Real Pro Wrestling's 211 pound national champion. I wasn't trying to be classless or anything. I was just kind of giving him a pat on the back. You know, he wrestled hard and he was trying hard. So, I mean, people kind of take it out of, out of context, but I was just kind of wrestling with him. And, and I was going to take down at the end of the match. It kind of gave him a little pat, you know, well, good scramble, good work, good hard work. 